Whew. Once again, another season, third season of the Premier Lacrosse League. We have a bunch of games. We have about 43 games this year. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. I think it's like 40-something games this year. Now I'm going to be watching about half of these games. I'm not going to lie to y'all because um, I don't have Peacock. So, there's no way I'm, I'm getting streaming and stuff like that just to watch PLL game. But, but, the season is here, baby. The season is here. And, you know, there's a lot of questions going around. Will the Whip Snakes repeat? Three-peat, actually. Three-peat. Will they three-peat and take home the PLL championship, you know, a third time? Or maybe, you know... Somebody else can take home that trophy. What are the water dogs going to do this year? What are my water dogs going to do this year? Uh, we've improved our roster a little bit. Everybody's improved their roster. You know the PLL is, you know, stronger now. And what about those cannons? How about the cannons lacrosse club? What are they going to do this year in their first year? Obviously, remember, you know, the Major League Lacrosse got, you know, basically taken over, you know, and merged into the PLL, you know, that's what it really was, but yeah, what, what, what is going to happen this year with eight teams, nine games for each team, you know, we got the quarter, we got a quarterfinals that looks kind of weird, I mean, I don't know why the quarterfinals looks the way it looks, um, I think it's going to be six teams, the quarterfinals, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll find that out, you know, when we get to that point. And, of course, you know, we got to go around the Olympics and stuff like that, so there's going to be several weeks that the PLL is going to be just completely off the air, not even playing, going to be on bye weeks and stuff like that. So, there's a lot of stuff, like, there's a lot of stuff. And, you know, how are these rookies going to adjust, you know, I mean, come on, we see that Virginia won the... NCAA championship the other day, so it was yeah, it was yesterday, my bad. So we see that, you know, how are these guys going to adjust, you know, coming from the college game on over to the top league in, you know, outdoor lacrosse. So that's all I gotta say. Um, I'm excited for the season. I don't really have any predictions or anything like that. Um, I'm not gonna be making, you know, as many vids throughout the season like I do with indoor football because, you know, I have to get back and enjoy the game because 2020 was hard to be able to watch the game because I couldn't watch them. 2019, I just I just completely missed that first season and I dismissed the league that first season again. It, it's similar to me trying to come back into indoor football. It's going to take, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some time. So, Y'all help me out, you know. I'm sure there's plenty of players that I missed because I haven't named a single one. But that's okay. Again, that is a-okay. We're going to have fun with this year. I guarantee you. Go Water Dogs. And I'll see you when I see you.